Welcome to the YouTube channel here at Digital Hollywood. My name is Frank Chindal. I'm going to be your host today. Our belief that the internet will become the next most important commerce and media distribution vehicle. In the same way that cable TV brought hundreds of channels, we believe that the internet will bring thousands of channels. But Felix Baumgartner jumped from the stratosphere and in five minutes landed on Earth. Eight million people watched that simultaneously on YouTube. Recent research that Cisco put together showed that by 2016, 86% of all internet traffic will be video traffic. We have a million uh, content partners. It's very easy to become a content partner. Currently, we're seeing 25% of all YouTube views are now coming from mobile devices. So a lot has changed. So basically you're trying to bring the full YouTube experience to all devices from the big screens down to the smartphones, right? Absolutely right. You read my mind, Frank. <laughs> there are some new techniques that we started to employ. The mobile screen really has the uh, most sophisticated user interface. The TV screen may be the biggest screen um, with the best display. One of the unique things we introduced on the PS3 was the ability to use your smartphone or tablet as a remote control. We have your basic you know, jump forward, pause, the scrubber bars, so you can jump to different places in the video content, and having the content play back on the PS3 screen. In addition to just using the mobile device as a remote, uh, we're also able to pull back contextually relevant information. If you're watching a movie trailer, you could be looking up cast and crew information, artist biography information. What is YouTube doing to enable other people to create? We have somebody actually here who is really knowledgeable about this, Tim Street. All of these companies are there to help content creators be content creators and introduce them to ways that they can build new audience and monetize that audience. Is there a new direction that YouTube is going where actually live events are maybe more prominent? What happens when you're a content provider and you bring your own sponsor or advertiser? When are annotations going to be available on tablets? Is there an opportunity for telecom operators to cache content on their network? What are the levels of partnership that folks can achieve with YouTube? The Gangnam Style was big right now, when someone puts that, they get the same exact music, but the, a different video. How does that work? If two people have the copyright on something and one person says, I don't want that to be publicly available. Wow. Yeah, we don't want to do anything illegal. That's true, that's true. Yeah. I mean, one of, one of the great things about this is that there are so many different business models and YouTube really doesn't limit the way that you can make money. And I think we're trying to take as open an approach as possible and treat YouTube as a platform. Um, but at the same time, we're trying to build a business around it that mm -hmm. benefits content creators and advertisers and everyone in the ecosystem. So yeah. Are you all ready to go out and start monetizing your videos that you're going to make as we speak?